What's up, Chasing Appalachian? It's me, your boy Tony. Um, wanted to uh, go over a few things. I put out a video about up and coming trails and a message, and I want to go a little bit further into that. Uh, so, with the long distance trails, I've done a lot of research, um, a lot of research. Uh, when I first started planning the AT, we didn't really have that much to do with YouTube or anything like that. So, it was all books and all that. Well, these days, I have YouTube and copious amounts of people that like long distance trails. So, I have put together, I wanted to buy all brand new, all not high grade stuff, but mid grade stuff that you can use and abuse and use and abuse and go back out because we've got trips planned all summer long. Um, the first being, we'll get into it after the uh, gear done. So. The big three is going to be the pack, the tent, the sleep system. So, for the pack, I picked the uh, Hyperlite Windrider 3400. Um, it's really simplistic. It's um, basically just a waterproof bag. It rolls down on the top. It's going to be plenty for what I need it for and durable enough to make it through the six hikes that I got planned for this year. Um, so, I like it. It's a little on the pricier side. It rings in at right at $350. Um, uh, they do give out a nice military discount for anybody that wears green. Uh, next, going to be the tent. So, I was really um, back and forth between the Z-Pax Duplex and the Big Agnes Copper Spur. So I went with the Big Agus Copper Spur because a lot of the research I've done showed that the duplex tents, you have to be able to spike them down and um, it's kind of a tension tent, meaning you gotta spike it to the ground in order to put the poles up. With the standalone Big Agnes, I can put it together, pick it up, move it, and not have to completely disassemble it. And since our first one is gonna be sand right off the rip, I elected to go ahead and do the Big Agnes. Uh, it rings in at $500. Um, so backpacking ain't cheap, but it's just, it's something I'm really trying to get into and really do a lot of in preparation for at some point in my life, the AT, the CDT, and the PCT, and the NCT. It's a whole lot of letters, Google them. You'll come into uh, a lot of great YouTube videos. Um, so with the sleep system, I'm not going with a sleeping bag, I'm going with a sleeping quilt, which is kind of like a sleep system, but it only zips up halfway. I'm going with uh, Enlightened Revolution. Um, they make really great products. It's really, really light. Um, they ring in at $3.99. So uh, I'll be... As you can see from all of the nifty, awesome editing that I've learned how to do, the pictures and all that, um, most of this is straight off Amazon. The Windrider and the Enlightened Revolution Sleeping Quilt, you have to go on to their site because Amazon don't carry them. Um, I'll be doing another video once all the once uh, FedEx decides to uh, Santa Claus me all my stuff in the mail. Um, I got a drone, I got all kinds of cameras, I got GoPros, I've got my iPhone 12 Max Pro. Uh, I'll be using a lot of it to uh, video with. For the trip itself, um, I put out Pictured Rocks National uh, or North Country Trail. That's going to be the first one to kick it all off. It's 42 miles, um, four days, and it's going to be dead ass or dead in the middle of March. So, like I said, I'm not really publishing dates. It's just for my security, anybody that goes up there. And, but it's gonna be in the middle of March. Um, it's 500 miles from where I live here in Chillicothe to Grand Morris, Michigan. So 
if anybody's wanting to tag along, hit me up. Absolutely free. Just hop in the car, bring your gear and motivation, and uh, you can ride up with me. Uh, it's going to be a great trip. Uh, we're going to park at Grand Miris, Morris, and take the shuttle over to... I got a big whiteboard behind y'all. Take a uh, shuttle to Sandpoint, Munsing, Michigan. And there we will begin our walk. Um, it's going to be a lot of beach hiking. Uh, they got some sand dunes. They got forests that you camp in. Um, I'm super excited. I'm hoping to get there quite a while before it becomes a tourist trap. Which, I mean, I'm the tourist, but I don't like other tourists. Um, that being said, uh, the other ones that we've got planned, like I said, I'm doing Zaleski, the first part of April, Shawnee State park um that one's going to be the end of may bur oaks is going to be in july and then i there's the art Loeb trail in north carolina and the loyal sock trail in pennsylvania uh, i'll be doing possibly both maybe one or the other but i definitely like to see you all get out there with me i'll be doing more gear videos the closer we get to uh doing the uh uh, picture Grox Trail. But that's it for tonight. You all have a good one and keep chasing it, y'all.